Singapore must build on its key strengths to have a better future. And every Singaporean must play their part by working together, putting values into action and making things happen. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Swee Keat said this at the NUS 115 Distinguished Speaker Series on Shaping the Country's Future. Heidi Young with more. Mr. Hing says Singapore has used grit and ingenuity to turn disadvantages into strengths. One of these strengths is our sense of unity, regardless of race, language or religion. But he says undercurrents still exist. And he urges Singaporeans to approach these issues with humility and forbearance, especially the younger generation who are more comfortable expressing their views on social media. We should be firm in calling out transgressions when we see them, but also have the humility not to assume the worst of every action or comment. We should exercise forbearance when engaging with such issues, given the deep and emotive undercurrents. Progress cannot be made by advocating loudly for a single viewpoint. We should instead seek out the different perspectives and expand the space for convergence. Mr Heng also notes that it's not possible to bubble wrap our workers from global competition and still expect to succeed. With employers now able to find the best workers anywhere in the world, Singaporeans must transform to take on new opportunities. We must not box ourselves into a false choice. Instead, we should embrace both openness and equip our people with the experience and skills to succeed. Your multicultural upbringing gives you a great advantage in a diverse world. It gives you a better appreciation of our region and enables you to pursue new opportunities that Asia has to offer. Closer to home, Singapore's third key strength is the strong social compact it has inherited. But Mr Hing says Singapore must do more to strengthen it. And that includes helping certain groups, like upskilling and creating better working environments for lower wage workers. Increasingly, this will have to go beyond government measures and redistributive policies. Each of us will have a part to play and every effort counts. This is the only way we can strengthen our social compact and build a better future for everyone. Mr Heng calls on the community to actively engage its seniors so that they're not socially isolated and to better tackle mental well-being by raising awareness, destigmatizing issues and creating a safe space for those who need help.